And Texas has to be careful. Not Martinez on to second for one. And there are two away here in the top of the first inning. The starting lineup against Mac Morgan. And she delivers a base hit to left field. The Mavericks with two aboard here in the first. Please. Here is Morgan Westbrook in the five spot. She swings at the first pitch, delivers to right field, and the bases will be loaded for the Mavericks. Pitch number 20 of the inning on the way from Mac Morgan. Lifted to right field. Maloney is there, and the threat is over. UTA gets three hits, but they strand three scoreless in the... Henry right to short and right at Hampton. When bumpers, a senior's count. A lot of times hitters are going to split the plate, look for the hard pitch on one side or the other when it counts in their favor. Scott to center field, that'll drop in, and she has now reached in nine consecutive games. That guy is. This time she goes to right center, drops it in there to a board. She's now reached in 18 straight and a hit in 14 consecutive games. Atwood gives one a ride to center field, and that one hauled in on the run by Nysis. A heck of a grab by the sophomore from Cedar Park, Marley Nysis. Two way now for Alyssa Washington. Swings at the first pitch to right field and on the run making the grab is Westbrook. So both teams with multiple runners then waking up early. Good thing is uh, 11 a.m. is about the time we're taking naps. So I should be able to watch uninterrupted. As a matter of fact, is that one off the glove of Morgan and runs into the hitter Hampton. Unintentionally tossed that farther from her, but she cannot impede the base runner heading to first. So first base umpire did his stick his fist out in case there was a play, but obviously after that contact, and you really do want to go ahead and move Hampton over to second because at some point. And that one goes off of Hampton. What a bizarre last couple of plays. And now they decide Hampton is indeed out after that one hit her. Brab running in center field. Swing it away. Nice play by Alyssa Washington. And Texas pulls off the double play to end the second. Mitchell. Hit number three for the Longhorns on the night. Well, Texas picking up Mitchell from the transfer portal, as you mentioned. From Martinez sends one to deep left field. That one off the track in the wall. Mitchell racing over to third, sliding in, and Texas with two on here in the second. Though for the Longhorns. Maloney over to short. Play is made at first, but Mitchell comes home to score, and Texas grabs the 1 0 lead. Well, this is a great at bat by Ashton Maloney. Soft hit that allows Jolie Mitchell to score. As the shortstop Hampton comes in, Vivi Martinez waiting to make sure she's going to make the throw. Go Progressed every single season. Takes the 2 2 to right center. Oh, what a grab by Nysis. Regardless, it will still bring in a run. 2 nothing Texas. Well, another great RBI at bat by Texas. But tip your hat, Nysis is covering some ground out there in the outfield. This gets past her. Bella Dayton is most likely on third base. The center fielder for the Mavericks. Product again, an all-conference center fielder.
Back up to the top of the order, Caden Henry lays down the bunt. Charging in the throw over to first from Franklin, not in time. A lot of speed and pressure to put on the defense. We talked about Bella Dayton advancing and progressing each year. Caden Henry can do the same thing with her speed and her short game. That speed pays off. Stolen base number six on the year for Henry. Both runs were charged to the previous pitcher, Gracie Bumpers. Mia Scott to left center field. Nicest watches that one go off the wall. Another run comes home. Look at Scott flying around the bases for an RBI triple. To see if she can turn it on and go to third, depending on where the outfielder is or the ball placement. That one placed right in the glove of Westbrook, but Texas breaks through for three runs here in the bottom of the second inning. I'd be surprised if we see Sophia Simpson in this game as well. Corona lays down the bunt, check spinning around. Nice play by Estelle Check. Dad came home with a balloon. She got a donut from mom. <laughs> and a strike out there from Check. It's a picture and said, um, I think we might be taking after Auntie Meg. 2-1 all the way to Caitlin Saylor. Saylor with the dart to center, sliding in to make the grab is... Because it is a different look than what most lefties are used to seeing. That would skies one to Franklin. Well, that schedule also prepares them for conference play. When you face elite arms and elite teams, it just gets your juices flowing, allows you to see. Action clock is at three. And Moreno has walked the first two batters she's faced. If you think the umpire is going to give you anything that's borderline. Martinez skies one to center field. Nicest reaches up and crashes into the wall, but that'll drop in. One run will score, and Vivi Martinez having a big night so far with her second hit of the contest. Her faced off a time or two, so Hunter may be telling coach I'm familiar with her too. Check swing over to third, and the play is made for out number two as the runners advance. to right center field. That one will roll all the way back to the wall. And Bella Dayton with the third triple of her career. <laughs> her family loves it. Well, the outfield's playing in with runners in scoring position to be able to make that throw home. And Bella Dayton finds the perfect seam between the two outfielders. No one had a chance to cut that off before it got to the wall and the speed of Bella Dayton. Here's Caden Henry with Dayton on third. Chops one over to Moreno. And the inning comes to an end, but Texas tacks on three more. And now has a comfortable 6-0 lead. We'll talk. Our pitcher out there now is Stel Check, inducing the ground out from Moreno. Estelle check still yet to time. I think sometimes for some athletes, and not that this is the case for Estelle check because we have seen long outings from her, but being able to mentally focus for seven innings can exhaust people and allow their performance to falter. Twas there wasn't a crucial opportunity. You're still letting everyone see live pitches. Pitchers getting reps in as well. Castrita retired. Yeah, you talk about the ranked teams Texas has faced by the end of the the most in the country. Scooped up by Scott, and on to first. A single, and that is all for the Mavericks. On to the bottom of the fourth inning. We go. Count to Scott. Mia Scott's walk to strikeout ratio. Ten walks now on the year. Still just one strikeout. 3-1 on the way. To a board. That 
Atwood delivers on the first pitch. That's going to score a run. Reese Atwood with an RBI single. Stewart caught in a rundown. Dives back to second, and she's safe. There will be a lot of fans that wonder why Reese Atwood is being aggressive in the zone after two straight walks, but that pitch over the plate, something Atwood could handle, and in that situation, you want to create action, force UT Arlington to have to make some plays. Great piece of hitting by Reese Atwood. Great job base running by... Washington, shallow center. The runners will stay put. Two on, one away from Mitchell. Jolie Mitchell chops one over the glove of the third baseman. That's a fair ball. Here comes Katie Stewart. And that's an RBI double for Jolie Mitchell. Eight nothing. circle by Moreno and Wallace doubled up over at third what a play by Moreno <laughs> there's strike three again Balls. lays down the bunt Simpson charging and throws it too high off the glove of Mitchell Nation. Corona takes one to left field. That'll drop into left center between Henry and Hunter. The base runners flying around, and UTA will avoid the run rule. Have to know that Camille Corona is going to be ready for anything that she offers. This pitch up in the zone and on the outer half. Corona does a great job driving that. Looked like Henry might have called it and thought she was going to dive, but realized her angle was off. There's no way that ball should get to the wall. That should be cut off. Texas bullpen. Saw her with that stellar web gem a few moments ago. Swing and a miss. Figure out if she thinks she's going to get a hard pitch or a changeup here. Simpson unable to locate the changeup in the zone during this at bat. But still, that is her best pitch. Swing and a miss. But UTA gets on the board. They Chopped over to third, and Camille Corona is showing off tonight. That's about it. She's going to make get comfortable out there and then try to stretch up. Off the glove of Castrita recovers in time, two away. Runner is going to throw on to second. And the winning run now in scoring position. Mia Scott to left field. Cooper is there. And we play on into the night here in Austin in the RPI. However, when you take a look at the schedule, as Simpson reports a strikeout, LSU has faced one team currently ranked inning, so that was reported. Lots of conversations we don't get to be privy to. Charging it is Martinez. No. Two away. Runner advances on to second. Swing and a miss, Simpson. So she ends up striking out the side. Talks to Mia Scott and here, Katie Stewart at that time was called. 
Over at second, Lopez. I think it was a little bit of nerves at first for four. So you have to be careful how many times you offer it to her. Sky to Nysis. Two way. So. And calling everybody off is Camille Corona. So here we go, seventh inning on the way in Austin in a seven-run game between the Horns and the Mavericks. It has taken a while, but they have returned to the top of the rankings. Sophia Simpson trying to close this thing out. In foul territory. What an effort by Ashton Maloney. You see her coasting. She took off on that first foul ball. Swing and a miss. Simpson with strikeout number seven. That pitch is just so good, and she throws it so well with her body. There it is. Sophia Simpson ends the game with a strikeout as number one Texas moves to 19 and one on the year. Sophia Simpson closes it out. We saw Mac Morgan, Estelle Jack, and the offense.